Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Today we have a question from one of our YouTube subscribers. Let's solve this one. To send your own questions, please consider subscribing our own channel. All right, the analysis looks something like this. Function of a g or f of g is really just rewritten as f of g of x. That takes the form of function f first. To be specific, if a function of x is equal to something squared plus 1, so whatever is given, if it's x is given, square that plus 1. If it's g of x is given, then it's gx squared plus 1. So let's use this one and solve the problem we're given over here. All right, so here's the solution. f of g, which really f of g of x, f function is going to follow the function of x. x says 3 times whatever you give me minus 2. So 3 times this box minus 2. g of x is given, and we're going to plug in g of x, which is x plus 2 divided by 3. Simplify, we have that equal to x. Now, coming over here, we'll take a look at g of f x. So then fx is the variable. g is the form. g says whatever you give me plus 2 and divide by 3. So this box plus 2 divided by 3 is g of x. Since fx is inside and that's given, so that's it's 3x minus 2. We we'll plug it back in here. Simplify and we get x back in here again. Normally f of g does not equal to g of x. However, when does happen like in our case here, then f function of f and g are inverse functions. Well, I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment, share, or like this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.